Hi, fishy folks, and welcome to Michael's Fish Room. Don't forget to check out www.michaelsfishroom.com for some pretty cool guppies. Today, an unboxing, one unboxing, and tomorrow, or another time, another unboxing. We're gonna unbox on camera today this box, which, as you can tell, is all wet and soft. Still, still feels like there's water in there, so I'm hoping it was just left outside and it rained and that's why the box is wet. Not really sure. So I had a customer contact me and say, yo, Mike, I have some of these for sale. Would you like to buy them? And we worked out a fair price for both of us and boom, he shipped them to me. In this box, you'll have to wait to see what's in there in another video. I'm very concerned about this box. So let's get it open. First thing we need is a man's knife. We're gonna be very careful with this though. Very careful. Oof. No knife needed, nothing stuck. Well, I was right. Looks like it's just water from something else. So we have three bags of plecos, albino plecos about an inch long. With some good plants in there. Guppy grass maybe. I forget how many I ordered. But uh, yeah, so box is trashed, but really no weir, where for the weary, no, I don't know what that phrase is. Just the box is trashed, so boom, we're looking good. All right, fishy folks, I'm going to uh, go ahead and float these in a tank and then I'll open them, doing the plop and drop method, and then boom, they'll be in the tank. Why don't you do me a favor and uh, stand by. All right, fishy folks. It's been about half an hour of them acclimatizing in the water. Uh, I'm going to plop and drop them now, which is my preferred method for uh, when you get fish in the mail. Uh, I pretty much plop and drop if I buy fish local too, assuming I know the water parameters. Now this is interesting. <laughs> it's a bag in a bag and this bag looks taped and I'm fumbling around looking for the tape to try to un de tapeify it. See if I can't. All right, I got it. Just had to be a little bit smarter than the bag. Now the bag was not tied. The outer bag was not tied, it was taped. And there's clearly water in the outer bag. And the inner bag, come on. So these are I'm assuming there's uh, eight in a bag because he sent me 24, I bought 20. He sent me 24, such a guy. I don't know if he wants me to give out his name. I don't know if he wants to sell or whatever, but these guys are gonna be on the website shortly. Uh, I think they're gonna be uh, about $8 each on the website. So let's plop and drop. I've got my handy dandy man knife. And you gotta be careful when you do this because you don't want to cut yourself nor spill the fish. So, and the thing about plecos, which I hate, is they like to stick to the bag. But I think we got them all. And he threw, oh, whoa, we almost had a straggler. I think I got him. And he sent me some guppy grass, which is always appreciated. Stand by, gonna drop him in the tank. All right, we have a double bag here. Now I said they're gonna be $8 each. They gotta obviously grow up a little bit. They're still a little small. I'm gonna power feed them uh, before I leave for Japan and then uh, have my boys take care of them. You know, maybe drop a cucumber in there one day and you know, come back a week later, it's gone. Probably not even a week. All right, I'm going to open this outer bag using my man knife. 
think Wichita Fish Keeper is the guy that sent it to me. Whoa. And this bag is leaking upside down, but that's okay. Come on, guys. Get back in the water. Looking good, looking good. Slice the bag open. Plop them in the net. What we're doing here is we're just draining the water out because that water probably is full of ammonia. And uh, the pH could change when you introduce oxygen to it. Some cool chemical process. I don't know anything about it. I just know it's a problem. Take the second bag out. This bag also has been leaking. But again, double bags are really no problem there. Hey, if you ordered fresh for me, let me know if you get an order and the bag's leaking. I try not to make them leak. Alright, uh-oh. This one we have a problem. Everybody's stuck in the bag. Come on, boys. You can do it. Come on, buddy. It's okay. They're so cute. Look at them! Stand by. Drop them in the tank. Those are some good looking plecos, folks. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna let them uh, acclimatize in the tank. They're in the tank with the new guppies I got from Doug. Um, there's a lot of babies in there, but they won't touch the babies. I did throw some trolla wood in there, which some of them have already clung to. Most of them are up on the glass. Some of them are on the filter, so. I'm gonna let them get uh, comfortable in there and uh, we'll come back and check them out in the tank. All right, guys? Why don't you, uh, I don't know. What do you think you should do? Say it with me. Stand by. All right, fishy folks, here are the short fin albino bristle nose plecos. Uh, like I said, they'll be for sale. I don't know, my guess would be shortly after I get back from Japan, depending on how big they are. So, you know, probably about three or four weeks. If you're interested, uh, I can probably put you on a waiting list as I don't have that many to sell, only 20. Um, they're in the tank with these fantastic guppies I got from Doug. Doug gave them to me as a present. Very nice. I added the guppy grass to the tank. Uh, you can see there's a bunch of fry in the tank as well. But these little plecos look spectacular. Um, I'm pretty happy with them. Uh, he, he told me how big they were. He was 100% right. Uh, accurate. The fins look nice. Everybody looks healthy. Uh, hopefully... We'll, uh, we'll be good through the night, and then uh, tomorrow we'll feed them. It looks like some of them are already sucking on the glass, trying to eat whatever algae's on the glass. I will uh, drop in some green beans tomorrow for them. That will be the treat for the plecos. The Breeding Pleco Project. All right, fishy folks, that's it for this unboxing. Hope you enjoyed this pleco unboxing. Don't forget to check out Michael's Fish Room, www.michaelsfishroom.com. And uh, shoot me a text, not a text, I lied. Shoot me an email if you have any questions. I answer eh, a couple questions, three, four questions a day uh, about ponds, about guppies, about what, you know, what kind of guppy is this. If I can tell you, I will. Uh, if I can help you with your pond questions, I will. I do have a couple pretty successful ponds outside. So, all right, fishy folks, that's it for now. No bloopers in this one. Hope everyone has a great day.